car insurance, we can afford groceries, and we the border is closed and no illegal immigrants coming in. And all of his policies are the best. Why as a young person you feel like it's important for you to be um, knowledgeable on political uh, stances? What does that mean? Why, 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 why are you so passionate being so young? Because I'm going to be 18 and if Kamala wins, I'm not going to be able to afford like my first car, my first house, apartment. If Trump wins, then I'll be able to afford gas for my car. There will be no criminals. The schools won't be full of hospitals. Everything is just better. My dad taught me everything. That's awesome. Uh, what was your name? Isabella. Isabella, nice to meet you. Why do you feel like it's important for not only you, but also your family and your daughter to be up to date when it comes to politics and America and international relations? Well, I, I've told her it's really not about me. It's about her. It's about her future because she could lose America as we know it. And I enjoy America. I love America. She loves America. She loves her freedoms. I just think we need to save America and we can only do it with Trump. I agree. So if there's anybody out there, you know, with daughter, kids, at, coming from a father perspective, what would you tell them if they happen to be on the fence and not know who to vote for? If you love your children, vote Trump. There you go. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good one, y'all. Olivia from Texas, how you doing today? I'm doing amazing. How are you? I'm great. So why would you give up that beautiful Texas weather for this 102 weather just to sit here and sweat all the way to the Trump rally. And melt. Well, one, it's Coachella. Like, I think it's completely iconic and it's epic. And as we're in the, ele you know, 11th hour, we're in the stretch. I wanted my son to come come to another rally. So he's here today. Um, we just had to do one more. We had to get one more in. And so why is it so important that you bring your son along to these rallies and stuff like that and bring the youth there? So funny you said that because I would show him your music. Uh, you were part of our like wake up 2020, oh, this yeah. whole world that connected on Instagram and all of a sudden, these are our friends, oh, like these you. are our people. So now it's really what we do. We go to rallies. It's just, it's a way to connect with, with people that see what's happening in America and just want to be part of changing it. And if there's anybody out there who who doesn't know what to do and needs to change their mind on their position and they're still on the fence, uh, what would you say to those individuals? I think first and foremost, you have to just sit down and say, am I better now than I was three years ago or four years ago? And if you can sit down and be really honest, the thing is, is you have to turn off, you have to turn off mainstream media for about 10 minutes and you have to look at legislative orders you have to look at the actual reality of what happened under trump and what's happened in this last administration borders economy people are really hurting and then now with the storms like it's not clickbait we're not taking care of americans and we're sending hundreds of billions of dollars to fight wars where innocent people are dying everywhere we've got to take care of america first and then we can be we can be a better light to the world i agree it's like people don't understand it like you can't lend out money if you don't have no money to, to lend out it's yes no we're literally going broke people don't understand that the biden administration has taxed americans seven trillion dollars that were not taxable dollars before and that's literally all going from american people out into other countries we're broke social security is going to be broke every agency that is supposed to be helping americans is literally going to be broke and that you asked about bringing my son out because his generation and the generation after him right now we are crippling them if we don't change course now so that's why i like him to come out he loves people like you and topher he has a lot of fun you want to come, come say in. hi my little patriot how you this doing rocco. good how are you i'm great rocco i like that name thank you i used to watch that there was a cartoon back in the day i don't know if you've ever seen it it's called rocco's modern life that's my generation is with a with a kangaroo i don't know have you seen that with a kangaroo and a turtle it was on nickelodeon i don't know do they still have nickelodeon he doesn't watch it, that's for sure. No, no, what do you do? Are you a gamer? What do you do? What do you do for hobbies? Um, I just draw. You're an artist? Yes. So what type of artist? Um, like cartoonist, anime, what? Am I manga, what? In the middle between manga and cartoon. Okay, cool. Is that what you want to do when you, when you, like, become on your own? Yes. Like, do you want to just, what, you want to put out, like, live action, like the anime portion, or you want to do comics? Um, comics, maybe, but on, maybe on the side, but I also want to be an entrepreneur. Okay. You want to be an entrepreneur? Yes. You know what entrepreneur means? Yes. What's that? Basically, somebody who starts their own business in, in this free market system we have in America. 
Go mom. Oh my god. Go mom. Go mom. I'm, I, I'm proud of you, Rocco, man. I'm proud of you. Can we get a. I want a photo with him. Can I get a photo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it. Photo with. Oh, nigga. Love it. You're an inspiration. Thank wow. you. No, thank, thank y'all. No. You, hey, you, you're going to make the, the whole story, man. Thank you. <laughs>